Hello, gentlemen, and thank you for choosing to fly love yourself. I am your chief flight steward, Sebastian Castro, and I am here to make sure that your experience is as pleasant as possible. Soon you'll be engaged in hot and heavy sex with one another, cruising out to 500,000 feet above sea level. But first, here are a few safety reminders before taking off all your clothes. To ensure your sex is safe, first, you'd want to avoid HIV. HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. It is a virus that attacks our immune system and makes it weak such that our bodies become prone to other infections. HIV is different from AIDS, which stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. When a person is infected with HIV, the first few stages of infection may not be noticeable, but he is capable of transmitting the infection to others. At the late stage of infection, the immune system is already very weak, and the body is infected with opportunistic infections. The person now manifests different signs and symptoms. This is the AIDS stage. It is the last stage of HIV infection right before possible death. There are three ways that HIV can be transmitted. First, from mother to child during childbirth. <coughs> and through breastfeeding. <coughs> Second, through exchange of blood. And third, through unprotected, penetrative sex. Now, these are the four body fluids that can contain HIV. Can I interest you in some breast milk? No? How about some vaginal fluids? What about some blood and blood products? I know what you want. You want some good old-fashioned semen. These fluids need to satisfy four conditions to successfully transmit HIV. To remember these conditions is easy. E S S E. E is for exit. The fluid must be able to exit the body of the infected person. S is for sufficiency. Enough of the virus must be transferred in order to infect. S is for survival. The virus must be able to survive while in transit. And E is for entry. The fluid must directly enter the bloodstream of the other person. <coughs> to prevent HIV infections, remember your ABCs. A for abstinence or Ayokumuna from sex. It's the most foolproof way to avoid HIV infection. B is for be mutually faithful or basta yikao ara Have a happy monogamous relationship. C is for correct and consistent condiments. Always make sure to use protection and know how to use it properly. D, or don't do drugs and alcohol. They will impair your judgment and you might engage in risky sexual behavior. And E, for education. It will help reduce your risks. STIs are strictly discouraged on board. STI stands for sexually transmitted infections. HIV is one common form of STI. Others include syphilis, gonorrhea, genital warts, chlamydia, herpes, hepatitis B. And now, a few reminders from the rest of the crew. The only way to know for sure if a person is infected with HIV is to get an HIV test. In the Philippines, most HIV tests require 
a small sample of blood from the person. The blood sample is subjected to rapid testing. If it is reactive, then the sample is subjected to a confirmatory test. Only if the confirmatory test turns positive is the person considered HIV positive. There are several social hygiene clinics and testing centers that provide the HIV test for free. Know your status. Get tested soon. Just keep these in mind and always have a safe flight. And thank you for choosing to fly love yourself.